Hi, welcome to Ramesh Soft Video Tutorials. In this video tutorial, we will talk about web driver interface in Selenium. So, web driver is an interface. So, the main interface to use for uh, testing is web driver and which represents an idealized browser. This interface contains the control of the browser itself and even selection of web elements as well. So, by using web driver, we can do automation testing of web applications. Even by using this web driver, we can do mobile automation as well using APM. So, maximum case APM is nothing but web driver API and it contains some extra functionalities. So, we'll talk. So, this web driver interface can contains the maximum functionality, the maximum methods uh, to do automation testing and that we can do a web application automated testing. And this web driver, this Selenium supports uh, different different types of languages, Java, C Sharp, Python, Ruby, JavaScript and etc. Now, internally, how this web driver interface is there? Now, see here, we'll talk one by one. So, as we discussed that, our Selenium begins with the search context interface. Now, this search context interface is only to identify to find the element based on some locator mechanism, right? Now, we are having one more interface uh, called uh, web driver, web driver, which is the child interface of uh, search context, search context, which is the child interface of search context. Context. Now see here, so this web driver is having the different different methods uh, to do automation testing. The maximum functionality is there as a part of web driver. So in general, we have different different types of interface and their implementation classes. We'll see one by one. Now let's go one by one order. Now see here. So this web driver interface is having one method called public void get method. It will take you URL as a string parameter. Now so whenever we call get method it loads a new web page in the current browser window and internally this method will wait until the load is complete that is it will wait till the page is loaded and internally you know so whenever we call the get method it loads a new page in the current browser window and internally this is done using http get operations boss okay more we'll talk in the coming videos now so by using get method we can enter url to the current browser window so this get method will wait till the page is loaded now it will take a parameter as a what url to load the to enter the what url and we should enter the url as a fully qualified url so in next videos we'll talk one by one method usage and then how we can use these things one by one we'll talk so before that just get idea on ap and their methods right now so get is a method by using get method we can enter url to the current browser window and it will ask you that url in the form of string that too we need to enter the url in fully qualified url that is sdps colon www.ramesoft.com in that way now one more method we are having so we know that already inside interface whatever we declare by default every method is become what public and abstract so inside the interface whatever the variables we declare by default those variables is become public static final right so please watch my previous java video so that you can get it so inside in selenium where we can use interfaces in selenium where we can use abstract classes in selenium where how we can implement overloading and overriding and in Selenium, how we can implement inner interface and inner class, I explained in detail and I'll connect all those Java concepts in Selenium. So how we can apply, how we can implement, how they implemented all those things, we'll see one by one, right? Now, so this interface is having one more method called get current URL. Now, whenever we call get current URL, return URL of the current loaded page in the browser, right? Now see here, so let me open this uh, Flipkart, sorry, let me open this browser, let me open anything, Flipkart.com, now see here, so this is my current loaded browser, so this is the URL, if I call get current URL, this is the URL I am going to get it, right, yes, we will see practically one by one, next one, we are having one more method called 
get a title get a title so whenever we call get title method returns a title of the current page so every application every some pages contain some title so if you want to get the title of that page um, we need to call get title method whenever we call get title method it returns the title in the form of string now and this uh, interface is having one more method called web element and find element method bye bye so in the search context interface i explained in the previous video what is a find element method find element is a method so by using find element method we can identify the element based on some locator mechanism and uh, if the elements are there it identifies all the elements but it returns a um, first identified element in the first identified element on the dom and it returns that element in the form of what web element so web element is an interface can we create an object the interface we cannot create the object for interface uh, that means we cannot create object for web element that means uh, find element method is not returning web element object internally it is returning web element interface implementation class object we'll talk coming in coming sessions we'll talk elaboratively now if the corresponding web element is not there then we will get a no such element exception in the previous video we saw next one one more method list um, element uh, find elements method by so by using find elements method we can identify a number of elements so whenever we call find elements method based on some locator mechanism it identifies all the elements and it returns um, all the identified elements uh, in the form of list so what is this list uh, what is this list of web element generics collection framework regular expressions 1.8 features 1.9 we'll talk in the coming videos right and then i'll connect uh, in selenium how we can apply and how we need to use all those things right now so if the corresponding element is not there whenever we are using find elements method it returns what empty list but not exception but in case of find element method we'll get exception so most important interview question they'll ask you what is the difference between find element and find elements you people should be in a position to talk minimum 30 minutes with technically what is this web element what is this list what is this list of web element what is this find elements method what is this by and etc we'll talk in coming session one by one we'll talk and uh, we are having one more method called get a page source so whenever we call get source method it returns a source of the current page that is um, it gets the what uh, source of the latest uh, loaded page so we'll see technically what is that next one more method we are having in this um, close method so see here generally here i opened my browser right how we are closing it we are closing it the current window right so if you want to close the current window it means um, to quit the current window and uh, quitting the browser if it's the last window right so in this case see here this is the current window this is the what last window if you want to close it uh, then call what is the method close method suppose you open multiple windows i want to close all i want to close all which are open my driver then we are having one more method called what is that method void quit method void quit method so whenever we call quit method it quits the driver itself by closing every associated window it will close about all windows but when it comes to close method it will close the current window when it comes to quit method it closes all the windows which are associated with that window next one so one more method uh, like uh, we are having string uh, get window handle get window handle so in application every window contains some name some unique name so if you want to get the current selenium current focused window we need to call a method called get window handle method get window handle is a method whenever we call get window handle method it returns uh, the selenium current focused window name in the form of string next one all those things we implement hold on so one more method is uh, 
if you want to get the all windows names which are open on the browser so we have a method called get to window handles so whenever we call get window handles it identifies all the windows and it returns all the windows as the part of what set of strings have you observed here get window handles method is returning what set whereas find elements method is returning what list so very common question in the interview what is the difference between list and set why find elements method is returning only list and why get window handles method is returning only set why can't list map and why can't something else right we'll talk technical i'll talk hold on next one so whenever we are calling get window handles method it returns all the windows in the form of what set right so set is a what interface it doesn't mean get window handles method is not returning set interface object it is returning set interface implementation class object right so as of now i cannot explain in technical let's get some idea we'll talk in coming videos next one so to perform see here this is my browser so this is my application let feel that flip card this is my application so whenever our web elements is there as a part of frames i mean whenever our elements is there as a part of frames and whenever our elements is there in multiple windows right so our selenium can perform operations at a time only on one window so if you want to perform operations on this window you need to we are the responsible being a automation developer switching selenium focus from one window to another window that is uh, if you want to perform switching between the windows switching between the frames like um, switching between the alerts uh, then we have a method called in web driver switch to method you know so to work with this switching mechanism selenium have one interface called target locator target locator so we'll talk target locator so switch to switch to whenever we call switch to method we'll get what as an object target locator as an object target locator as an object now see here switch to is a method whenever you want to perform switching between the windows switching between the frames switching between alerts then we can use what switch to method so whenever we call switch to method what i'm going to get the object target locator so target locator is a what interface it doesn't mean switch to method is not creating and returning target locator interface object you know it is creating and returning target locator interface implementation class object so we'll talk technically now so target locator is a what a interface target locator is a interface which is specially designed in selenium to work with the frames and windows right so to work with the frames and windows we have a special interface called target locator right now see here this interface is used to locate the what a given frame or window now see here how the method implementations are there for this right in next video we'll talk right so before that let me explain how what are the methods are there in this uh, target locator interface now so this uh, target locator interface is having a method called see here so i want to switch to the frame so if you want to switch to the frame it is having one method called frame frame uh, it will ask you string id or name and one more method is having overloading methods of frame method it will take int index of the frame next one more method is having frame web element element we'll talk in switching mechanism we'll talk switch what are switching command different and uh, i want to switch to parent frame it's different methods it is having and i want to switch from frame to main window for that we are having one method called default content end to end we'll talk method by method we'll talk and i'll implement it technically we'll talk more okay yes default content and it is having one more method called active element 
and uh, if you want to switch to the alert it is having one more method called what alert like a uh, lot of methods are there was now see here so so target locator is a interface which is specially designed uh, to switch between the what uh, frames to switch between the what uh, window to frames frames to window and to switch between the what uh, alerts uh, to switch between the what windows last q string uh, window name everything will implement in coming sessions line by line we'll talk right so whenever we call switch to method this is switch to method it returns what target locator object it doesn't mean switch to method is not going to create object for this target locator interface internally it creates some target locator implementation class object on the top object we can call what switch to dot frame switch to dot parent frame switch to dot default content switch to dot active element switch to dot alert switch to dot window in coming videos we'll talk and one more method we are having so i want to perform navigation operations like uh, i want to forward the page i want to refresh the page i want to back the page something like that those operations they can call as a navigation operations to do that this web driver interface is having one method called navigate method so by using navigate method we can perform navigation operations right so to perform navigation operations selenium people they have a predefined interface called navigation interface by using navigation interface we can perform navigation operations that is uh, it allows driver to access the browser history to navigate to a what given url so now see here now see here whenever we call navigate method it returns navigation object it doesn't mean navigation is what uh, interface so it doesn't mean it is returning it is creating and returning navigation interface object it is creating and returning navigation interface implementation class of that object right so we'll talk in coming videos how this is happening how this right we'll talk very clearly now so let me write the pseudo code for this uh, navigation interface what are the methods are there in this navigation interface hmm? now let me go through one by one see here so this interface is having one method called back this interface is having one method called refresh to refresh the page this interface is having a method called forward to forward the page this interface is having one method called to overloaded method to enter the what url void to it will take url we'll talk what is the use of all those things one by method we'll talk now so this is the interface navigation is the interface which is specially designed interface to perform navigation operation right so whenever we call navigate method it returns a navigation object it doesn't mean navigation it is not creating object for navigation interface it is creating and returning object for navigation interface and now now one more important method we are having switch to method now see here so whenever we call switch to method we are getting what target locator object to perform the switching between the what windows right now one more method is having now see here so what is the method means um, options manage so manage is a method which is there as a part of web driver interface whenever we call the manage method we are going to get your know, options object what is options options is an interface so which is specially designed uh, to perform operations in a browser manner like uh, deleting cookies adding cookies and deleting a particular cookie get all is something like it means um, this is a specially designed interface to implement the cookies management right so when you want to perform any operations on cookies we need to call what is the method manage method now see here let me write the pseudo code for this uh, options interface now see here so if you want to add the cookie we are having a method called add cookie cookie something okay so we'll talk everything is separate sessions one by one we'll talk 
and if you want to delete all cookies we are having a method called delete all cookies if you want to delete the cookie based on some name so we have a method called delete cookie named string cookie name string cookie name so if you want to get the all the cookies uh, we are having a method called get a cookies get a cookies get the cookies so if you want to get the cookie based on some name we are having a method called get a cookie named get a cookie named so this is the interface options is an interface which is specially designed to implement the what cookies management so whenever you want to delete the cookies or the cookies as a part of cookies management uh, we need to call what is the method manage method right so let's quickly reverse things what we discussed till now so web driver is a interface which is the child interface of search context so if you want to perform automation testing the major functionality is available as a part of web driver interface now web driver is used to perform what automation testing the major functionality is there as a part of web driver interface now web driver which acts like a was idealized browser so this is the main interface to use for what testing so even this web driver can have the browser control itself and even this web driver api interface is supports uh, mobile testing as well and we can perform web application testings as well right so this is uh, get method current url method get title find element and find elements get page source close method quit method get window handle get window handles method switch to method manage method navigate method right so these are all what the methods are present in what web driver interface so in next video we'll talk uh, what is the use of these things and etc right but um, as those are interface some classes should be there to provide the to provide the implementations or not yes so in java already in the previous videos i explained we have different kinds of uh, interfaces can you people tell me if it is an interface means compulsory implementation should be mandatory no it is optional right so even based on our requirements we can provide the what implementation so listeners are there so all the for, for all the listeners implementations are there not there so based on our based on our requirements what we can provide the implementation so in java i told we discussed like uh, we have different kinds of interfaces are there so marker interfaces functional interfaces fully interfaces right yes now see here so for this search context and for this uh, so for this search context and for this web driver who is the implementation class means remote web driver is the implementation class for this web driver so in remote web driver we have all the implementations for this web driver interface as well as search context interface right so in coming videos we'll talk more so thanks for watching the video have a good day thank you so much